Hello and welcome to Bike Bike Nudge Nudge. This is going to be another one of those YouTube videos where I show how much stuff can go in the cargo bike. And I'm going to use groceries. In this video I want to show you how much groceries you can haul by bike. There are other videos that show this, like the one by Shifter, but mine's a little different. In Tom's video he used an algorithm to create a grocery list for one person for one week and then showed how you could carry that in different methods by different kinds of bikes. By the time he got to a cargo bike, he just was easily able to throw a bag of groceries in. My video is a little different in that I bought an obscene amount of groceries and I'm going to show you how many can be carried by different methods to really show you how much a cargo bike can hold. So let's begin with how many groceries can be held in just a backpack. Let's have a look at all the groceries I bought. So these are the staples from my family and stuff that we'll use throughout the week. It is much more than we would actually use in one week because as you can see there's 20 kilograms of flour down there. And as I fill up the different items I'm going to show you we can see how much stuff I can actually take off this table and put into each package. So I'm going to start with just one backpack. If you're a single person and shopping once a week, you might be able to get all your groceries in just this one backpack. It, this backpack carries about 30 liters and you can load it up to 15, 20 kilograms. So let's go with the milk. Uh, let's take two kilograms of brown sugar. I'm gonna take the jelly beans. Jelly beans. May, maybe to be healthy, I'm gonna take some bananas. And how about some oranges? So this is about full. Might be able to get a little more in here. Oh, it is rather heavy. So I think I could carry this much stuff in my backpack comfortably on a bike. Okay, so now if you do more biking, you might have some panniers and a rack. I have these panniers, they're also about 30 liters and they'll hold about 15 kilograms. The rack that I'm gonna put them on, I think the maximum it should go to is 45 kilograms if I'm right, although it might've been 45 pounds. So this will triple the capacity of what I have in the backpack. Let's see what I can put in the two of them. So maybe I'll put my juice in each of them. How about the, I'll put some salsa in this one. Oh, it's not fitting well. How about the balsamic vinegar? Uh, let's take some salad. And quickly run a room. Let's do some yams. And I think we can top it off with some, let's do some meat. So there we go. Um, I filled them quite a bit. Oh, I can't even, can't even reach the buckle over. So when riding home, I'm going to have to be careful with uh, these being open and how much stuff I've taken. So let's see what that looks like. So this is how much food I'm down to after filling up my backpack and two panniers. As you can see 20 kilograms of flour is still there, the eggs are still there, a lot of the meat, uh, a lot of the big heavy stuff. I will say to be fair to backpacks and panniers that where I went shopping 
all the packages are really, really big and they don't easily fit into backpacks and panniers, which is part of the reason why I might be able to put a little bit more in, although that bike was really not very wieldy with all the stuff that was in there. So let's move on to the next demonstration. So now, just like in urbanism, I have a missing middle. There are two other ways that you could get your groceries home, which would carry more than just a backpack and panniers alone. They are a trailer or a long tail cargo bike. So for the trailer, something like the Burley Travoy interests me. That one I like because I ride a Brompton and that one I've seen people ride with using the Brompton. Uh, I used to have a double wide kid trailer and you could also use that for hauling uh, groceries. Both of those are limited to about 35 to 45 kilograms, which is about as much as the two panniers put together, and you might be able to have a little more volume. As for a long tail cargo bike, I don't have one. I have never ridden one. Um, something like the Cargo GSD interests me. If I use the specs for that bike, uh, on weight, it can carry as much as my back feet can, 200 kilograms for total weight, including the rider. So the panniers I would get if I had that turn are limited to 52 liters on each side. So that's 104 liters total, which is about 14 more liters than both panniers and backpack put together. Those two panniers are limited to 30 kilograms, which is less than what you could probably put in the two panniers and the backpack. Turn also has a carrying tray that you can put on the back of the long tail cargo bike. Uh, it's limited to 35 kilograms and probably about whatever you can stack on top of it. So with the panniers and that tray, you are limited to 65 kilograms. If you don't have that tray and you strap things directly to the, uh, directly to the frame of the long tail, you could put 70 kilograms. So that flower would definitely go on the on the frame or on that tray. But you're still not quite up to the level of the cargo bike, of the Backfeet's cargo bike. So let's load up the Backfeet's cargo bike to see does all this stuff actually fit. And there you have it. Everything off the picnic bench, except for a banana or two that my family ate while watching me film. Everything fit in the cargo bike. I have a few more things that I need to put on top and then I'm gonna use my cargo net to secure it. This is actually the first time I've bought so much stuff that I need my cargo net to feel safe riding home so I don't have anything spill out. My Urban Arrow, it can carry a combined weight of 200 kilograms. They suggest just putting up to uh, 100 kilograms in the bucket and the size of the bucket is 300 liters. So that is three times the amount that those panniers from turn would fit and three times the weight as well because those panniers are limited to 30 kilograms. So I hope I've shown my point that obviously the back feats can carry a whole lot more than just you with one backpack. Although I think the real thing I wanted to show is just how much more. I hope this video has helped you get a sense of how much a back feats can carry compared to other methods. Unfortunately, I don't have a trailer or a long tail cargo bike to show you how much those bikes could carry. If you are a single person or have a very small family and go grocery shopping more often, all you really need to carry groceries would be a backpack and some smaller panniers but if you have a larger family and you want to go and get a stupid amount of groceries including all the staples like flour uh, I didn't get sugar but I could have um, and all the other stuff that I bought today you might consider getting a back feats. One thing I will say about the long tail over the back feats is even though it carries less groceries the long tail you could still have a person sit on the back. 
With those panniers full, they're not supposed to carry more than 30 kilograms, which means you can carry 70 kilograms worth of people on the back, and they would fit. If, as you can see with the back feats, even though I think I have about 60 kilograms worth of stuff in there, uh, so I could put a 40 kilogram child in there, there is no space for them to sit. So that is one positive of the long tail over the back feats. I hope that video was informative and helped you get a real sense of how much stuff a Bach feats can carry compared to other methods. Um, leave a comment if you carry groceries other ways that I missed. If you like when I do cargo bike videos, please give this video a like and thanks for watching.